Uh, today's March the 9th, and I just wanted to continue to give you an update on these hornworms, how they're doing. They're doing great. They're growing like the dickens. I'm keeping them in a really cool area, about 65 degrees, to keep them from growing too terribly fast. So, on Sparky's uh, rock this morning, I have some organic uh, carrots and some romaine, a little bit of tomato from the green, from our greenhouse, uh, and I grated up a little bit of radish in there. Um, don't know if he'll be interested in anything like that. I just keep trying different things. So, I'm going to hide him a hornworm. Okay, I'm going to hide that hornworm. Uh, Sparky sees it. And hopefully, he will get over there, and he will ha get some um, some stuff in with the hornworm. Hopefully, Okay, this time I have moved these veggies on over so he won't be dragging it off of the rock, hopefully, and he'll be keeping it on the rock. And see, that way, this is a rough rock, and it helps them to uh, wear down their beak. Okay, here goes another one. So Sparky is getting um, a little veggies in there. I think that's three. I didn't film the first one. I had a trial run to see if he's ready to eat because this is day two. And obviously he's ready to eat. This is a very big challenge uh, trying to film <laughs> and being in this position because of Sparky being up on the, uh, I think that's around five. And I think what I need to do is maybe stop him right now and um, see if maybe he will experiment with some of these veggies. Sometimes just the wiggling of the food, if they're hungry enough, and Sparky, there's no doubt he is still hungry because normally he will eat uh, around a dozen, 11 or a dozen of these. So, I might wait a little bit. Now, really, this is too much food to be putting on uh, their plate because then they'll just feel like they have a forever large amount of food. Uh, probably about half of this much or even less, maybe just a, a small amount where they think that's all there is. Uh, there's some talk about that. If they think there's really not that much food, they'll eat it all because it's not that much there. Uh, what I do with the remainder of the food, I'll put it in the habitat, and there are the roly-polies and the sow bugs they really now, enjoy. Now, it looks to me like that they really enjoy uh, this dinosaur kale, or dinosaur, uh, yeah, kale. I made a mistake and called it spinach in another video. Uh, but um, it just looks like they have taken little tidbits out of this. Um, and it looks like, you know, the one whole side is missing. Um, so I would say they, they've gut-loaded on this uh, dinosaur kale from the greenhouse. So 
Sparky's had uh, six of these um, hornworms, uh, and he, he I got some carrot in him, and he's had got a little bit of greenery, but it is easier to um, kind of sneak those veggies on him with two hands because as he goes to take a bite, I shove the greens right in front of his face and uh, the chopped uh, veggies and uh, he's more apt when he's thinking he's going to get the worm and he gets a, a mouthful of the greens uh, he is getting his greens that way so I'm going to give him this and then I think he's really uh, I'm not going to continue to give him such a, a large amount of these hornworms because he will just eat to, and eat, eat. <laughs> It's it's hanging fast. This worm is hanging fast to this uh, to this um, green. And he got him. Oops. Uh, the reason I said it's not a good idea the way I'm doing things is uh, this really can create a picky eater if you just continue to give them their favorite food. And obviously now these hornworms are Sparky's favorite food. Now I have wax worms, I have the roly polies, and I have the super worms, the beetles, and the different stages because I do grow the super worms in Sparky's old glass terrarium. Uh, so, um, I need, in order to stretch these for a month, because I want to make this work for a month, uh, that I am going to try to get Sparky to eat, uh, a, uh, eat some super worms uh, in between and a few wax worms. Okay, now this is not cheap eating, guys. Um, I have been giving Sparky too much, really. Um, and it's not even going to last a month, obviously. Uh, so, each one of these containers, and I got four of them, plus I got extra food because, as you can see, the food is really going down. Uh, it was uh, 25 count in each one. And um, the four cups at 34 95 then I got the 16 ounce cooked food for seven dollars and then the shipping is 1250 and the total is 5445 at my rate of feeding Sparky these it's probably only going to last three weeks so, uh, I am not doing it right, guys. I mean, I'm really not. I'm doing this to filming filming it so that you guys can see how the, um, how the worms are continuing to grow, all these small ones, and how they're uh, changing color to green. The ones just eating a lot of greens are turning green. Um, so, I'm going to take this over to the window. See you later.